Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the conference by Grupa Kente. Uh, members of the boards are with us, but uh, we will be sitting uh, during our conference because uh, previously I was just talking and walking, but uh, it shouldn't be done like that. Uh, that's what I was informed about. So, ladies and gentlemen, now a couple of words about a general situation in the company, how is the economic situation, what's happening outside of the company. So the second quarter was uh, basically a high rate of uh, sales growth uh, in all segments. Well, it was a very satisfactory growth. Uh, well, we um, had a very good situation, economic situation on the market. Uh, this is not a huge discovery. I presume, but uh, the most important thing is that we were also able to continue the growth of the operating profit and EBITDA. So we may safely say that all the factors that we are under our control, that we take care of, uh, of are to our satisfaction. Uh, are satisfactory in the second quarter and well the general result after the second quarter was uh, better than uh, estimated uh, now with regard to investment well this is a very uh, important uh, period all investments are uh, being carried out and what can we say now we are fighting about uh, fighting for uh, the employees for uh, the contractors uh, and uh, it's not very often uh, that uh, in Poland right now we have this situation that the investor is uh, asking uh, for people to uh, complete the project we are a very well known company very respected company so that is um, very helpful so we are the company that pays on time, that uh, makes no problems to the contractors and subcontractors. So I believe that this is very helpful right now uh, and none of the investments are uh, at risk. And now a uh, macroeconomic situation. Well, the situation would be worse if not the good economic situation, if not uh, so many orders, uh, because, well, that always happens when uh, the raw material prices go up, then it is uh, actually uh, translated into the customers. Uh, but, uh, well, we've seen that uh, many times uh, during um, our professional experience. And as I've promised you, we will be trying to deal with uh, the rises, price rises, and we won't be translating that into the customers and we are achieving that goal. And as I've said, uh, these are not uh, the things that should be done suddenly and uh, too um, quickly because the market and the customers don't really like this kind of nervous uh, situations and the customers they have their own contracts uh, signed as well uh, so surely um, using uh, the margins uh, we were able to keep our relations with the customers very good and uh, translate uh, the growth of raw materials right now into the sale prices. So we are very happy about that process, about uh, that control of the process in all segments. As I've already said, all the segments have reached a high sales level uh, growth, uh, and particularly uh, that particularly concerns Polish market, which is a very good market, strong market, and a promising market. We haven't seen any signals for the good situation uh, to come to any break, um, any halt. So, what else can be said? You've, you, you know, uh, our company for many years, you know that we are quite smart in completing our tasks and this is what we are doing right now. Now I will move to the aluminium segment, extruded aluminium segment. So well, in this segment, our concerns 
were connected with uh, the aluminum prices and transferring them on to the customer, well, uh, the price have uh, been um, um, risen and uh, we gave time for our customers uh, to, to get used to uh, the higher prices, to um, adjust to that. And after that period, well, we start selling. Uh, I need to add that June, uh, in June, we still had the previous prices, the old prices. We had uh, quite a significant sales uh, volume. Uh, it's a it's a practice to buy more uh, material because the price is lower still uh, so uh, that that's what happened but on the other hand uh, we may safely say that starting July uh, we are dealing with new prices and the, the whole process uh, has been completed uh, in a very smart way and we took care of our customers uh, of our market because our customers also have contracts and uh, uh, contracts that are um, valid for the next uh, month, six months or several years. So it's always to, uh, a bit our responsibility for the customers to be able to complete uh, the contract uh, to make money on it. Uh, so these are our uh, conversations, discussions, uh, we also assist our customers in uh, doing uh, that, uh, in actually um, making the contract uh, happen. Well, the changed prices of raw materials or exchange rates uh, can actually kill a contract and uh, lead to a bankruptcy of the customer. So if we have a customer who has been um, attached to us, well, we have the good relations and we take care of that. And that is uh, the promise for the future, for the good cooperation in the future. Now about markets, Poland. Uh, Poland is the biggest uh, market for the growth of uh, aluminum systems. Uh, well, the situation is not as good in the USA. Well, uh, it should... Uh, it should improve in the second uh, half of the year. The, these are the nat natural delays, but we don't really have any problems with the uh, production capacities uh, um, and the use of people and uh, machines. So we are completing uh, Manita Legacy Tower. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of that. Uh, well, we've, uh, we are just doing the lower part of this tower, and the higher uh, tower hasn't been started yet. Uh, and because of some delays uh, in the USA, um, well, this could be a troubling for us, a trouble for us, but it is not. Now, the development, around 15%. We have growths on all, all markets, uh, and they are consistent with our uh, competency, competences. Uh, we are unable to do any uh, um, jumps uh, there or very huge and sudden growths. So this is how it is done. So 15% is a very good result for us uh, if we are able to continue this. Uh, well, I've mentioned uh, the situation in the US, 25 million uh, as compared to the 40 million last year. Um, well, uh, Manita legacy tower. 17 percent uh, has uh, of uh, these year's plans have been completed uh, the rest will be completed uh, in the coming uh, quarters and we expect the growths in the third and fourth quarter as well uh, so i believe this is how it will be in terms of the growth of uh, income in the aluminum system segments a couple of pictures illustrating our uh, contracts, uh, the buildings that have been constructed, as, as you can see, um, they are spread all over the world. And what's the most important for me, 
I keep saying that, uh, that uh, the growth uh, uh, seems to be like a, a contagious disease. We need to infect the architects, the contractors to actually do that and uh, position our brand and uh, the brand Aluprof uh, is so strong that we can see the buildings in Ireland, uh, England, uh, also in Mongolia, in China, in very far away countries. Well, this is uh, very pleasing. Uh, you have to remember that like Mongolia or Shanghai, a building there is the best commercial that you could dream of uh, because every investor architect uh, passes by the building while well, they look at it, they touch it and uh, talk uh, to people that the, the windows are great, that the facade is uh, fantastic, that it's working so good. Uh, uh, so it seems like we are sowing the grains and then actually coming and, and uh, getting uh, the um, plants, uh, the crops. Uh, and uh, it's good to see that we have people who can go to China, to Mongolia to have negotiations there and to negotiate contracts, sales uh, that will be helpful in terms of uh, technicalities uh, that will be able to train people because we we have people who train uh, here in Poland and uh, then they go there and they are experts there and then we take care of this process, uh, particularly now investments. Everything is uh, according to the plan. Uh, the main investment is the R&D center. This is where we want to test our products. Uh, and this product pro project has been co-financed. Uh, well, it's according to the plan. Everything uh, goes according to the plan. Well, uh, in part of the money will be uh, spent in uh, 2018. Um, well, uh, we are constructing the hall and now we are uh, waiting for some permits. Uh, well, this is how that works in uh, larger cities such as Bielsko Biała. Well, the whole process may be uh, a bit longer uh, than in uh, smaller towns. Uh, in terms of permits, for instance. So we've passed this bureaucratic uh, red tape phase and uh, we have the contractors, uh, the, um, the supplier of the ve vertical powder coating line and so on. Uh, so this project will be completed definitely and Opole production hall. Now the, we have a very good uh, environment there. This is our territory. These are the industrial um, ter territories, uh, areas, so no problems there. Uh, so everything in the aluminum system segment is going according to the plan, according to the estimations. Uh, there are no troubles at all. So we are completing uh, our 2018 plan. And as I've said, more and more aluprof in Europe and around the pro uh, world, uh, we sell more and more systems. It may be boring for you, but every month uh, we see products appearing and our um, portfolio of products is uh, expanding. Uh, so things, new things are happening and this is another advantage uh, of our company. Now, uh, that's all about the aluminum system segment. And now I'd like to ask uh, Director Vesotsky about uh, to talk about the extruded uh, products segment. Well, in the extruded product uh, se segment, uh, well, the market is really speeding up. Uh, the uh, orders are piling up. Uh, in the second quarter, the volume group uh, by 3% because we have no space for the orders. So our capacities, production capacities uh, came to uh, an end. And I wanted to tell you that in June, uh, we had the first uh, time that 7,000 tons of profiles have been sold uh, within one month. Uh, so June, yes, uh, we were able to go ex, uh, beyond uh, 7,000 tons. 
And uh, despite the fact that uh, July is a holiday month, well, we repeated this result. You'll see that in, during the next conference. Now, about the future, well, this uh, market, very uh, hot uh, market, uh, uh, leads uh, to uh, the waiting time of 100 days uh, um, or um, February, and this is uh, how we accept the orders, uh, so for soft and hard alloys. So the growth of income with the help of a better volume, but also metal prices were growing, so the raw materials were uh, growing, uh, so the prices have been translated uh, and transferred onto a ca customer according to our um, systems, uh, according to our processes. Uh, and with a market like uh, this one, it's really easier to work on margins. Uh, it's uh, easier to push uh, for margin growth. So, and they are a result usually of the fact that the um, raw materials uh, that we are using uh, is uh, are more expensive. So now Poland is doing very well. Now export markets, the biggest market is in Germany. And the German market uh, during the first quarter um, was not doing that fantastic. But in the second quarter, in terms of the orders from the German market, uh, that the orders that uh, have been coming and uh, from the German market are really good. And uh, this is a, a great sign for us, because that shows us the situation on other, the condition of other markets. We are focused on the German market, but we can see also a good growth on the Czech uh, market, which is uh, very much uh, connected, uh, linked uh, with the German market. So 6% uh, German market, this is a huge growth. This has to be said. Now, uh, the biggest growth was in uh, automotive. Uh, the mm, largest sales growth uh, will be in the was in the automotive uh, growth. Uh, maybe it's because we are uh, focusing more on this industry and we are choosing the best, uh, the biggest contracts. Uh, but what's important for us is the electrotechnical and machine building uh, industries. Mm, well, this uh, tells us that we will have new investments uh, because uh, to uh, construct, to make a simple CNC machine, well, we need uh, if the machines are being produced, that means that there is demand for that and people will be investing in them. So this is a good uh, indicator for us. Uh, and in the third quarter, uh, we are also forecasting the growth of uh, sales uh, by uh, approximately 5%. Currently, uh, our production capacities uh, are used up to 95% or 100%, depending on the extrusion press. Uh, well, this is uh, due uh, to um, technological breaks, for instance. Uh, we are we are stabilizing margins uh, on the level of 8-10%. And now our foreign com companies on the Ukrainian market no, let's start with Slovenia. Well, Slovenia is doing really nicely, 20% 20, 20 of growth uh, in revenues and almost 100% increase in EBITDA. Well, this is mainly due to the fact that when we were buying the plant uh, three years ago, well, the plant was in a very bad uh, financial situation, condition, and uh, everybody was ordering um, uh, in big companies uh, who are ordering uh, uh, the production, well, uh, they are checking uh, the companies. Uh, so we are a good investor. We ensure the stabilization of the plant. Well, the orders came, the contracts came. And we have a lot of uh, contracts and new ones are coming up. Uh, our contractors, uh, 
big companies that are located there, they are not afraid that the plant uh, will go bankrupt. Uh, uh, therefore, the revenues grew by 20% and the bid grew by 100%. That makes us uh, uh, able to choose the contracts and, and the customers. And now with regard to Ukraine, well, this is a very special sort of market. Uh, we are using 80% of our production capacity, but, uh, well, 40% of our pr production uh, is sent to the Ukrainian market uh, and 60% uh, is brought uh, to Poland and we treat it as another uh, extrusion press uh, that is located uh, somewhere else uh, and the transport is offset by um, lower cost of production there. Uh, this year, uh, last year, we had 10th anniversary of, uh, of the start uh, of the launch of the plant. Uh, well, the, the way you do business there in uh, Ukraine, uh, well, this is not our uh, way. This is not something that will prone us to make more business there. This is a very special sort of market in the most um, trading. Uh, so the component, uh, component production, so highly processed uh, elements, uh, has uh, increased by about uh, 30 percent. Uh, last uh, quarter we so far we don't really see any impact of uh, the sanctions or problems of the automotive uh, industry any custom duties we don't see that and uh, and we just have orders and now with regard to investments uh, the most expected one will be the press Right now, we are trying to make as much as possible from the of the presses that we have, but this new press will help us to increase our production capacities. Well, we are coming to an end of our investment. All uh, the machines are under the roof. Uh, well, the pictures that you can see have been taken two weeks ago. They are outdated uh, in a way right now. Uh, we will start the production on the 8th of September. Everybody is doing their best to actually do that so that the first product uh, goes out of the press on the 8th of uh, September and then uh, by the end of the year we will have 3,000 tons of new production from this press. Uh, so hard alloys uh, press, another investment, uh, everything is going according to the schedule. Um, as for the uh, anodizing line, we are fighting with the environmental permit. Uh, well, it may take more time than estimated uh, at first. Well, this is all uh, connected with the procedures that we need to go through. Well, we need to put an announcement in the city hall for a month. Uh, so, well, we've been a little bit surprised by the procedures, but there are no uh, concerns there. And at the same time, we have uh, also contracted uh, the machines with our supplier and we are working on the construction design and everything is happening at once. And that would be all, I believe. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy to see you after three months. Uh, I'm happy to present the results of the flexible packaging segment covering the second quarter 2018 and the first six months of 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a very successful quarter, a double digit growth uh, in terms of uh, uh, profit and uh, sales. Well, the first quarter was as good, uh, so it's only natural that this segment had the best uh, f first six months uh, of the year in the whole history. Uh, please note uh, that uh, uh, the uh, sale is uh, reaching almost uh, 350 million and uh, the EBITDA for the first time in the history has, uh, go, has gone beyond uh, 60 million. 
ladies and gentlemen, the first uh, uh, six months were unique, not only because of that, but also uh, because it was the first six months uh, during which we had the target portfolio, sales portfolio. Uh, it will not change. Uh, so it's a good material for you uh, for uh, some uh, analysis there will not be more share of the propylene uh, foil. Oshvenchen investment is working uh, correctly. Our production uh, is going seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and nothing will change here. Well, a similar uh, six months, first uh, six months uh, were in 2016. Uh, and that was the first six months during which we weren't selling uh, the propylene uh, foil that uh, we produced uh, ourselves. So you can see how this investment in Oshvenchin uh, affects the uh, results of the flexible packaging segment uh, through out uh, the past two years. During uh, those uh, two years, we nearly doubled uh, sales volumes. I need to tell you that it was a huge logistical challenge for our segment. Sale is growing by 45% and a bit by 27% at the time. Why? Uh, the indicators are behaving like that because the price of the propylene foil is about uh, seven zloty per kilogram and highly processed packaging uh, uh, price is around 80, uh, 18 zloty per kilogram. The margin the margins on the propylene foils is about 11 percent. This is the margin that is uh, according to the estimation uh, estimate estimates uh, uh, prepared for this investment and uh, highly processed uh, uh, products uh, margin is uh, over 20 percent. Uh, yes, we were able to keep uh, the margins on the sales of uh, packaging. So please take a look at the results of the 2016. You'll see the margin uh, is 19.7. Uh, and it's the same in the first six months of 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot is happening on the market, and the market is completely different than the market discussed by my colleague. We still have the production, strong production there. And an interesting fact, one of the biggest producers on the in the world has started to close down uh, the plant in uh, Poland uh, so uh, it was over product due to overproduction of lexographic uh, foil well that was said during the previous um, meeting and I can confirm uh, that today as well ladies and gentlemen some basic uh, raw materials and uh, the prices well it was uh, discussed during the previous meeting as well that concerned this part of the business uh, operation Well, take a look at the table and two, first two lines, uh, PP and PE, um, and uh, granulite. Uh, well, the rest of them are the aluminum foils, uh, glues, uh, paints, uh, and so on. Another question that I've received from you, uh, whether it is possible to match uh, the prices uh, of uh, the uh, granulates uh, and uh, the um, prices of the oil on the world market, on the global market. Not really. Well, the prices on the components for packaging production haven't changed. Uh, and at the same time, uh, the oil prices grew by uh, several percent, uh, several dozens percent. Another question was about the conditions uh, that uh, we have uh, for purchase of, uh, of our raw materials. Do we have a long-term contract? 60% so are the formulas that base on the global prices of raw materials, and then around 40% are the spot uh, purchases. Uh, why do we do that? Well, this is our di diversification of risk. Sometimes. Uh, 
purchases uh, uh, based on the one solution is better and sometimes on the other uh, solution is better. So it's uh, ideal, perfect uh, mix for us. Uh, well, the prices of the raw materials are growing and we are now attempting uh, to um, increase uh, our prices for the customers. It's not uh, uh, going very smoothly. So I believe that the third quarter will be under the pressure of, uh, of the growth of uh, raw material prices uh, because our calculations will be including uh, a higher prices of raw materials and, and our customers are not really accepting the higher prices yet. Uh, so this is uh, the only concern here. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, a, a lot of things are happening in the flexible packaging segment. It is uh, similar to the automotive um, industry, especially in terms of the um, impact um, on the natural environment, on the nature, on the nature, and the negative uh, impact on the nature. Uh, well, uh, the illegal uh, dumps uh, selling. Uh, and the problems connected with, and the EU has. Uh, uh, taken a stand on that and uh, announced the, the uh, strategy that uh, by uh, 2030 all the plastic packaging has to uh, have to be completely recyclable not biodegradable uh, but uh, recyclable we were afraid about this biodegra uh, the biodegradation but uh, no the decision is really good um, for us because uh, today, uh, well, looking at the past, in one bag, we bring uh, the granulates, uh, then the paint, uh, and then finally we have an added value produced by the segment. Well, that gives us uh, a lot of advantages and uh, we are able to achieve uh, the results as we do. And if we are only a converter uh, that laminates and prints on the packaging, well, and, uh, instead of producing them, our results will not would not be so good. Uh, well, um, following the EU announcement, uh, the changes are announced uh, by the biggest uh, customers, uh, producers uh, around the world uh, and many of them uh, uh, shortened the time by 2020 all the packaging uh, that is sent to the customers has to have to be uh, uh, recyclable made of uh, polypropylene and polyethylene foils and ladies and gentlemen well well we've been focusing on that We've been, um, uh, th these were our predictions, and we've been focusing on that because they are the easiest uh, to recycle. Uh, so um, polyester foils, uh, papers, uh, together with some substrates, uh, well, will not be uh, trendy in the future. Not only we've uh, invested into polypropylene and polyethylene foils, but uh, we keep on investing in that uh, because, so, as you can see, we are constructing our plant in Oświęcim that is uh, supposed to double our capacities. Uh, I have promised you that uh, we will start uh, the investment in the third quarter, but uh, we like positive surprises because we are ending the earthworks uh, and all the anomalies because we had some floods, uh, we had some problems with uh, the pumps, uh, but in general, you can see we are completing the earthworks uh, and during the next meeting uh, we will probably have uh, some uh, concrete uh, already visible. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and now I give the floor to the financial director. So the results. The results are really good and sound. Uh, well, this is yet another 20th in the row uh, quarter with growing sale. The sales has grew uh, by 12%, uh, uh, 84 million is lot by 13% and uh, 84 million is lot. Well, they are due to the product mix and volumes uh, and uh, that uh, 
made it possible for us to grow by 61 million zloty, 12 million zloty was added by the packaging uh, plant as the new business uh, that has started at the end of 2016 and 11 million zloty we we estimate uh, that this is uh, due to the growth of aluminum prices and exchange uh, rates that uh, impacted the sales uh, revenues. This positive growth of uh, sales revenues in influenced uh, the growth of EBITDA, and we have 126 million lot here, including uh, the improved margins. Uh, below the EBITDA, we have uh, the negative influence and the interest that in interests are growing. They are connected with the dividend and the investment program. And on the level of the income corporate uh, tax, there are no assets for deferred tax. Our tax rate is very similar to the last year's rate. Well, our forecast for 2018 said that this year we will have around 11 million um, as lot of assets for the third tax, and it will be connected with our with the construction of the new plant for polypropylene foil. Let's move to another segment: uh, the cost. It's worth to comment on uh, three lines: so, so materials, raw materials, and energy that grew by about uh, ten percent. Well, that is due to the growth of ex um, foreign. Uh, currencies and aluminum prices and so on. Well, this is uh, something that is transferred on to our customers. Another line uh, growth by about uh, 7% more the external services. Well, that uh, uh, that depended on the number of uh, businesses and uh, the coming uh, in the coming quarters this mm, will be growing uh, dynamically and that will be connected uh, with the uh, project that we've uh, already uh, announced uh, that we will be constructing Menenica um, legacy tower in cooperation so Year on year, external services 2017 compare, as compared to 2018, uh, this will grow by 25, 26 percent. Uh, so the coming quarters, in the coming quarters, you will see the dynamic growth of external services cost. Another cost uh, line, uh, employee benefits, uh, very interesting for everyone. Well, this, according to the forecast, uh, this uh, is uh, growing. Uh, well, we have 12% growth uh, uh, for employee benefits. And well, uh, our employment rate is growing. Uh, in the group, and uh, the rest is due to the growing, um, to the growing uh, salaries. Next slide: uh, the operating uh, capital, working capital, and its growth. As you can see, 96 uh, days of the rotation of the. Uh, working capital is uh, even better than the second quarter of 2017 and the situation is as follows uh, well the time structure uh, for the layup for the receivables is without uh, changes but the concerns uh, uh, about the construction industry are there um, maybe because our customers are not uh, uh, the big uh, companies uh, who are uh, dealing with uh, huge contracts uh, 
and uh, it's easier for them to transfer the prices and the growing cost to the growing prices of the raw material on onto their customers. Well, the um, cash uh, situation is really good, 24% during the first six months, 120 million zloty. Well, it depends on the quotas. Uh, the situation may differ here, but the growth uh, is 24%. And the financing, uh, this is completely stable. You can see here that uh, we are making use of long-term loans that is connected to with uh, refinancing of the investment in the extruded products uh, segment. We have signed a contract for 261 million zloty, and uh, we are starting that 102 million zloty. That has been shown in uh, the loans. Uh, what are we expecting? Uh, uh, well, the debt will uh, grow uh, by about uh, 220 million zloty, and the well, that will lead to the growth of working capital and investment plans uh, and payment of dividend, full dividend in the third quarter uh, will be the main source of impact uh, on uh, the composition of our loan. Uh, so investment uh, spendings, uh, CAPEX uh, out of uh, the plan, this year's plan, uh, 330 million zloty. Uh, we haven't really started the tasks uh, worth of uh, 30 million zloty. Mm -hmm. So all the tasks uh, should be launched by the end of the year. But as at this moment, we are not able to forecast uh, uh, how many or whether any uh, of the spendings will be moved to another transfer to another mm, year. Now, recapping uh, that uh, quarter, well, these are, this was a quarter with really good results, the best uh, revenues in the group in the history. This is uh, the second uh, best bid in the history of the group, uh, very good uh, um, perspectives for the future in all segments. Uh, also, we will have the pressure a little bit uh, in, in the extruded products uh, segment uh, or packaging uh, segments uh, in terms of uh, the growing prices. And well, we maintain and uh, we uh, uphold uh, the forecast of the management board for 2018. We've pub published that uh, at the beginning of February. And now we have time for questions. Let me check whether our online viewers are asking any questions. Well, uh, my screen is black, so we have no questions from our online viewers. So maybe there are any questions here in the room. Unfortunately, I cannot hear the question because it's not spoken to the microphone. Well, it can be made precise in every segment. We are confirming that the employment will be growing in each segment because we are investing in new plants, in increasing our production capacity, as, and, and we are increasing our, our sales revenues. Well, the difference is due to the dates. Uh, well, the end of quarter, we have revenues, we have income. And my colleague uh, during the presentation said uh, that we are increasing uh, the, uh, that the, the purchases increased uh, in the aluminum system segment. Uh, our customers wanted to buy more before the price grew. And now about the exchange rates, well, we don't know how that will influence the end of month calculations, accounting uh, calculations. Uh, 
Yeah, 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 Kope. I have two questions about the situation in the construction industry uh, because we can see a huge inflation of uh, costs and these are your customers as well. Do you see any payment uh, hiccups, uh, congestions? Uh, do, you, do you see your customers doing worse? Uh, how, how are you preparing to this situation in order to avoid the situation of 2013? Well, we are a very experienced company, and I need to tell you this, that in particular the construction industry keeps uh, dealing with the pro payment problems and uh, connected with, for instance, ethics. I don't know why is this happening in Poland, and uh, everybody who comes to Poland mm, seem to get this disease and every contract, uh, every project people fight for margins and somebody wins the contract with a low uh, price and is pushing uh, all the subcontractors and that uh, affects our customers as well. And I have to confirm that, that it has been happening and will be happening. I don't know why, uh, because we don't have uh, this sort of situations in um, America or uh, the UK. You sign uh, uh, the contract, the contractor is respected, uh, paid, and so on. And uh, here we, we in Poland, we've seen how that works. For instance, uh, when uh, the motorway was constructed, there were some congestions, in payment uh, con congestions. And I need to say that this sort of problem affects our industry. Uh, are we prepared for that? Yes, so we are a very experienced company. Our debt collecting department is prepared for that. We have good customers, we have good insurances, uh, securities, uh, so we are, we are not acting uh, openly just uh, uh, so that uh, we, tr we don't really try to make money only. Uh, make big money only. We use insurances. We analyze uh, each customer. Each customer need to uh, deliver, need to provide us with uh, with the um, PNL uh, uh, statement, financial statement, and so on. We need some insurances. So we don't really want to go beyond the procedures that uh, are working in our company. So this is the sort of medication for us. Uh, so even if we want to sell more, we still have to go according to the procedures. And we know that this is uh, a threat. And uh, in the past, uh, as the vice president of Aluprof, uh, well, I kept hearing uh, that the company will go bankrupt. So in the morning, I was starting uh, the the job and uh, the work and uh, I've been hearing uh, I was hearing right away about two companies that will that have gone bankrupt uh, so well we've survived the time and I don't really want to go back to those times it was about 10 years ago one more question about split payment. Uh, have you analyzed how that may affect you? Yes, uh, yes, so we've completed our analysis. So uh, the maximum uh, level, if all payments go through split payment and uh, is about 50 million zloty, but it's not our, uh, not the situation in our company. And uh, in July, there is no much traffic on the VAT accounts. Uh, it's about uh, several hundred thousand lottie. Uh, um, so it may not be so popular in this part of I industry. Last question. One of your competitors uh, and uh, also a customer is uh, investing a lot uh, in two new plants, uh, production halls. Do you see uh, anything happening like that among your other competitors? Uh, how about extruded products? Uh, do you uh, do, Are there any similar investments going on there? 
Now, with regard to our competitors in extruded uh, products uh, segment, we have several companies. Uh, we have foreign and Polish companies, but there is no investment boom. We are working on our presses, and our competitor is uh, constructing one press, and that's all that has been planned for this year. We don't have to deal with a situation that uh, within one year, several, a dozen or more presses came to Poland and everybody want, uh, wanted to produce something. Well, two presses, this is uh, something big already. Poncio. In addition to Poncio investment, it's very hard to say. Poncio is growing. It's our customer and competitor as well. Well, I may say that generally that uh, we don't have to deal with situations as uh, mentioned by my colleague that uh, a dozen of presses, presses uh, are bought and everybody is producing. Uh, uh, we've seen Spanish systems, uh, for instance, in Poland. Uh, but today we may say that uh, the market uh, has matured uh, and it's, it is more similar to the Western uh, European markets. Uh, so some people come here first, calculate, analyze uh, the demand and then investments. Several years ago in Poland, uh, it was more optimistic. Uh, our competition was more optimistic, and today everybody is analyzing uh, thoroughly, and uh, nobody comes uh, really from the Western Europe. Uh, no, well, Ponzi is building the hall, constructing a hall, but uh, it's not huge. Uh, it's not as big as uh, in the past. Uh, today, the market is stable. We don't feel any pressure or concerns or threats in terms of what is happening, uh, what uh, our competitors are doing. Uh, we are mostly focused on developing our production uh, capacities and following the market's uh, demand meeting the market's demand. We have one question from our uh, online viewers. Do you think that it's possible that your forecast will um, change in plus uh, after such a good uh, uh, quarter? Well, our forecast uh, has been completed, met at, at around uh, 50% in terms of the forecast, and, uh, and now we are not uh, seeing the need of uh, correcting our forecast. If the, Should there was a need for that, uh, it would be announced. Uh, well, our rules don't change. If we calculate or um, see that any of the parameter is going uh, beyond 10 percent, well, we will publish this information. We will announce the uh, Info. Well, the president, when discussing aluminium systems, focused on the end of the first quarter and the beginning of the second quarter uh, was uh, uh, supporting uh, the customers and uh, the higher prices uh, started in July. How about the third quarter? Well, uh, it uh, should be much better. So uh, the second uh, half of the year will be much better as well. Yes, uh, we can say that there are many factors that may uh, impact that. Uh, but uh, we cannot say uh, that for sure uh, right now, because we cannot uh, forecast everything. We are a serious, reliable company, and if there are any changes, any corrections, we will be announcing that. And uh, and my colleague has said that, uh, well, we weren't wrong in our earlier uh, forecast. We didn't, but, and we, we didn't uh, 
think that uh, the purchases will be uh, so uh, big, uh, would be so uh, large, uh, but that was a positive surprise, a positive uh, error. So let's check, uh, let's, uh, let's sit and wait uh, for what is happening. So we, uh, we've, well, let's wait with any corrections yet. How about the results uh, next year? Well, the whole group, in the whole group, the cost of energy, gas, and heat is about 60-something million zloty. So depending on, um, on the situation, whether the press messages uh, become true and we know the tariffs for raw materials, we can say that the growth will be 10%. And if this is 10%, well, it will be 6 million zloty. If it's 15% growth, it will be about 10 million zloty more for us. Uh, this is uh, what I know today. Uh, these are the press uh, announcements uh, about uh, the energy, uh, raw materials uh, next year. Are there any further questions? If there are no other questions, uh, well, let's focus on the questions and answers after the meeting. Uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming today.